Thank you so so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to and what I'm up to today is I'm gonna do a little centerpiece for you guys and honest to goodness I really don't have a place to put this in my house but I'm making up this centerpiece just to show you how you can switch up the same kind of staple accent pieces and just switch out a few things and make it look totally different and totally new and refreshed so if y'all will remember i made this centerpiece for easter and i used this lantern that i got from michael's last spring or in the summertime actually it was on deep sale i got this but they still do have them i believe so i'll check and give you a link but just use a coupon on it because i think it's like 40 dollars or some ridiculous amount of money for this it is metal it is a metal uh lantern uh, but anyway i'm going to use this and then i'm going to use the same tray that i used for that centerpiece as well and it's kind of a chippy tray but it has like all rub bronze on the handles so i believe i got this from hobby lobby i don't have a, a tag on it any longer so i'm going to be using those two staple pieces and I am gonna be using maybe a little bit of the greenery that I have left over. Uh, I'm, I may need this, I'm not sure. But other than that, I did purchase a couple of florals from Amazon. But what I'm gonna center this whole arrangement around is this little doll that I hauled from QVC. This is a Jim Shore Angel. You know, I don't have my glasses over here. But it's Jim Shore Guarded by Angels. Heartwood Creek. But isn't she pretty? And look, she's got little uh, cardinals. Look how she's holding that cardinal. And you can see that the cardinal is not a true red, like a you know fire engine red. It is more of a, a blushy color cardinal. And that's fine. You know, the female cardinals are kind of brown. So maybe that's what they were going for with this. So this is what I'm gonna be centering this, this arrangement around. So keep her in mind as I show you these florals that I got from, uh, from Amazon. I got me some kind of peachy blush colored peonies. And I wanted just to leave them like this for a minute just to show you how they came packaged from Amazon. And I let these, just to tell you with the COVID-19 and all that stuff, I let these sit, or Chris actually, he brought them in, he says, your flowers are here from Amazon, let's just let them sit here. So he opened the box and we let the box sit in our mudroom for quite a while, you know, before I even touched them. So, but I just wanted to show you how they were packaged. So let's open them up and see what they look like here. Oh, <laughs> oh it's got slapped in the face with them. to uh, almost like bouquets. And of course, I'll give you links if I can still find them on Amazon. But there you go. Kind of uh, just a, a bouquet of peach or kind of pink to pink to peach peonies with a bit of pink inside. Isn't that pretty? So I'm only gonna open one of these. I'm gonna leave the other one in the package here. I don't think I'm gonna need more than, this is gonna be more than enough for my arrangement. So I did get these. And then I got some little daisies. If you look on her dress, you can see that she has some daisies on there. See that? And then of course the peonies are gonna pull the blushy color out. Let's open these up. I need my snippers for this because it's they used a little. Oh, they tricked me. They had them wrapped in raffia and then they had them 
tied together with a twist tie. <laughs> oh my goodness. And here they are up close. They pretty, just dainty little daisies. So these are what I'm going to use in this with the greenery. So, and then I, I pulled some of these out of my coffers. Just some blue, you can see that she's kind of got a gray blue on her. So I thought I would actually, where I'm gonna put this, I thought I would put it in on the living room floor, kind of sit cattywamp there, in, you know, by my couch, in front of the one of the little tables, just for somewhere to put it so I can enjoy it. And I, you know, I'm just excited about doing something new, you guys. And I did spend a little money, Yes, I did. Not, not a ton, not a ton, but I did spend a little. And you know, you make it work when you see something. I, I actually had seen her on uh, Amazon. And I said, oh, Chris, isn't she pretty? Look with the Cardinals and everything. I would love to have her. And he said, sure, let's get her. And then he started searching and he's the one that found her on QVC. There we go. All right, so let me get this. Oh, oh, another thing I'm gonna use. I did not purchase these, I've had these. Uh, little birds and I thought with the little cardinal on there and the little blue head on the other little card you know these birdies are sitting there talking so I think I might incorporate this too in you know we'll see so let me get my camera situated and I'll be back and we'll get started making this little arrangement here I'm excited okie dokie I'm back uh, first off before I get started on this centerpiece I want to make a very quick tiered bow First thing I want to do is, I have some glue dots here. I want to put some glue dots on the bottom of this little fella here, or this little trio. I got these glue dots off of Amazon. You can always find a, uh, a link in the description. Danielle, bless her heart, is the one that, Danielle from Danielle's Decor is the one that turned me on to glue dots. I don't know what I did without them before I had them. I honest to goodness do not know how I kept my stuff together. <laughs> without glue dots because I just love them but I couldn't I got she got hers and I got my first box from Hobby Lobby and then they, my Hobby Lobby no longer had them so I found some on Amazon okay so all I want to do is I want to put put these little fellas on this piece of wood so that I can all this is doing is so that I can set this little piece up higher and build you know like lamb's ear or whatever around it so that it sits up higher and in the same vein I'm going to use a little ramekin that I have here turn it upside down and see my little lady here I want to set her up on top of this ramekin again to lift her up higher in the centerpiece so I'm just going to stick just a few on here And that way they'll set up higher and then I'll be able to manipulate the foliage around them and I won't hide like the prettiness on the front of her dress, you know? So let me turn this over and see if I can center her on there. And there we go. And that just helps her stand up a little taller arrangement. But first thing I want to do is I want to make a very quick, where'd it go? Very quick candle ring. I'm going to put this candle, this candle I got, I don't know, it was a set of three. And it might have been from And That or Hobby Lobby. They were not cheap. These were not cheap. It was a set of three, like of Mirage or something like that. I cannot remember, you guys. But I do want to use this cream colored candle. But I want to make a flower ring for around it. And I'm just going to use this little bit of lamb's ear here. This is left over from when I did my uh, wreath, my embroidery hoop wreath. I don't even need this end. So let me see here. Here. 
sorry. I have a couple of tie wraps here and I'm just going to tie wrap them together. And I'm trying to camouflage them underneath the leaves. There we go. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. I just made a double candle ring kind of thing. Not so pretty. Here, I want to put her in. Actually, I might glue dot her to the bottom so she doesn't go anywhere either. Even though the, the Stuff might hold her in, but let's see here. Just a couple. Turn her around here. Turn this around here so I can see what I'm doing. This one, kind of want her tilted. Right about like that. There we go. She looks pretty. Okay, I do want to put these little dudes in here too. Right like that, I think. And now I have my, a bit of lamb's ear here. I had one left over, again, that was by too much from Hobby Lobby, from the Mr. and Mrs. department again, or wedding department. And I wanna start with this. just to go around. Just like that. Okay, now, so here we go. Let's get some of these peach flowers or blushy flowers and my daisies and see what I can do here. This is pretty. some of these little daisies. Turn it this way for just a second, y'all.
have left is some of the blue, but I don't want to use much of this. I'll tell you one thing right now. Maybe just a touch. Just a, just a taste of the blue, you know. Only time I'm quiet, guys, is when I'm <laughs> when I'm creating, huh? I don't think they have any more of that white on there. There we go. All right. And I think that is going to do it. Yes. One thing I think it needs, though, since it's so light and airy and, and pretty, is I thought I would put some fairy lights in with it. These are the fairy lights that I always recommend on my channel here. You can always find a link to these in the description of every video I put up. And I get these from Amazon and I get like four or five packs of these for $20 or so. And they are battery operated, but they're indoor outdoor fairy lights. So, and they have all kinds of different uh, settings. I like to do in wave, so I'm gonna do number two which is that one, which isn't too blinky, you know, but there are some that, you know, they have in wave, sequential, slow go, slow glow, chasing flash, slow fades, twinkle flash, steady on, and then off. And you can pick it, and then they also come with a remote control. It also comes with a remote and a timer. So all you have to do is, to do the timers, all you have to do is pick your mode that you want, and then hit the, flat, the uh, timer button and hold it until it flashes. And then that'll set your timer. And, and I usually set them to come on, you know, at dark and go off six hours later. So let me get, this is an old set that I've had and reused and reused and reused in many different arrangements. So I'm gonna snug the box back down here. I pulled out one more flower because I knew I had this box. And I want it snugged back here. And I'm gonna, but I want it so that I can get to it easy. So I just want one flower. I just put one flower on top of it just to camouflage the box a little bit. And then I'm just gonna weave these fairy lights in and around this arrangement. Just to, you know, lift it up just a little bit. Just to make our eyes a little bit happier, you know? This is on like copper wire, these little lights. So you, you know, you can tuck them in. I'm just gonna wrap them around, then I'll tuck them, you know, in like through the leaves and whatnot and camouflage them. So 
I'm just going to, and yes, when you go to take something like this apart after you're done, it is not fun. I'm gonna just tell you that right out front. It's not fun to unfurl these, but <laughs> they're really pretty while they're, you know, on them and while we're enjoying the arrangement of that. Mm -hmm. We'll be able to see them a little bit, but that's okay. You know, not a biggie. Well, at least it doesn't bother me. If it bothers you, you can not put them on or, you know, camouflage them a little better than I am. But I don't mind seeing the wire a little bit. Just I try to remember to take a picture of it at night so you can see it at night too. Isn't that pretty? You can kind of see it now, can't you? Hang on, let me turn off the light. There we go. That's pretty. I love it. Alrighty, you guys. Let me turn you around here and we'll go into some final words. Okie dokie, you guys. Just a little something something for you today. I really love how this worked out. I'm in love with it, actually. I really, really, really love it. And it's, oh, why don't you say you love it again? Okie dokie, you guys. That's going to do it for this one. Just a little uh, arrangement. I'm not sure how quick this is going to be or how much I'll have uh, edited this down. I have 47 minutes worth of, <laughs> worth of uh, tape here, but I did use some ribbon and make a bow real quick and I decided not to put a bow. But anyway, I love it as is. I think it's super, super pretty and I think it's gonna be very sweet in my living room in there sitting down right on the floor in front of my couch. I think it's gonna be very pretty. Just for something different. If I had a table to put it on or if I could uh, replace another arrangement with this, I would, but this really doesn't go with my other accent pieces, my blue and white necessarily, but I think it's pretty and I'm gonna set it out because I think it's pretty and I love it. So anyway, let's go into some final words again. Let me reiterate that I never want to uh, make it seem like I'm making light of our situation, the world situation with this pandemic. Uh, I'm only bringing you these little videos just to try to keep you company and try to lift my own spirits if I'm selfish. I mean, you know, these, these help to lift my spirits. I didn't do any videoing yesterday and I had a rough day. I will be honest with you. I had a rough day. It was, you know, it, it, the walls kind of come in on me around here with all of this isolation and not being able to really do any shopping, but online shopping, you know, I can, or I could do some curbside too, but haven't found anything that I've, I've wanted uh, until I came across this little angel. Now I do have a project coming up that Chris made me something that I, I need to uh, create something with and uh, it's going to take the place of my little lantern centerpiece here and it's going to be patriotic i'm going to start in with my patriotic decor i'm not sure where i'm going with that yet i'm not sure whether i'm going to switch everything out uh but i will do some patriotic you know plugging in of some patriotic decor in this house for sure because it's coming to be that time of year and i like to i love that decor i love it so me infusing a little bit more red, white, and blue, you know, along with my blue. So we'll see where I go with that. I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to hush and I'll just say uh, that again, I hope that all is well with everyone. And for those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all. To bits, to bits, to bits. Hugs all around. And I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, 
stay tuned for one more little picture at least at the end or maybe video but probably a picture <laughs> to show you where i put this <laughs> but until next time y'all take good good care bye bye <laughs>